Don't, <laughs> Droba, don't look at the camera, look at me. Don't be so vain. <laughs> don't be so... Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, huh? He likes this, if you watch this, look. Lift up his wee bandana. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's nice, huh? <laughs> These, my friends, are tantrum donuts. Mmm. Mmm. That's so much sugar. Oh, I've been eating these for the last three days. I'm going to Marrakesh tomorrow. I might be in a bikini. We left a vlog last week. I was coming home from the Conor McGregor fight. And basically, what happened for the next three days was party prep, party, party breakdown. So, like, we had to clean, basically. I cannot begin to tell you how grateful we are to Yasmin and Belle from Buy Me Lifestyle. So, I told you guys last week, basically we had the silliest big party. We just had the best time ever. The house all looked amazing. We had a donut wall from On Croup. We had donuts from Krispy Kreme as well. Yasmin was like, you really like donuts, don't you? And I was like, apparently so. Yasmin was here all day sorting a gazebo for outside. We had a hot tub. We had catering. So we had food which was amazing, it went down really well. We had burgers, little salmon bellinis, which were my favorite. And we had chicken and loads of desserts. On Crew also had chocolate strawberries. I've got about seven left that I'm waiting for mum and dad to get here so I can show them. We had a bar as well, which was actually probably the craziest thing because everyone obviously used the bar till it was dry. Look at this. And on the day of the party, the guys are here from 8 in the morning until 4, four in the morning. It was so good, but what we're going to do is figure out the footage and hopefully we're going to have something really, really fun to show you guys of the party. Me and Jack have presents. I honestly did not know that you get presents when you get engaged. Maybe our friends are just really great. Congratulations on your engagement. We wish you both a lifetime of beautiful memories together. Love, Jonathan. Jonathan? Why is he calling himself Jonathan? Gemma wrote the card, maybe. No, that's John's writing. No, it's not. Is it not? No, John's writing is horrific. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Jonathan, Gemma and Willow. Oh. Nice. It's night time, me and Jack are just about to watch a movie. What's it called? Godric's... Godric. Godric. Gerald. Ger Gerald's Game. Gerald's Game. Better. Jack's having a Burger King. I just did baby facial. So my skin's looking super shiny. Pick my face, obviously. I always pick my face. We're going to watch a movie and I need to get packed because I'm off to Marrakesh tomorrow with YSL. I'm really, really excited, but I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. So we're going to watch this movie and I'm going to write a list of what I need to pack so I can literally just get it after we've watched the film. Hello. I'm in Marrakesh. I made it. The hotel room is absolutely gorgeous. I will show you guys it tomorrow. Unfortunately, I lost my suitcase, which is fine. It's just a bit annoying because we're only here for two nights and I was really excited. I don't know. You know what it's like? Like I've literally, I don't have any of my stuff, so I just don't know what I'm doing. Basically what happened was I got to Gatwick Airport before anyone else did. So I checked in really early and then I think they just must have forgot to put my bag on the plane or something. But basically, they're gonna try and get it out to me tomorrow morning maybe, but it's probably gonna be tomorrow night and then we leave literally the next day. So it's really unfortunate. I'm here with YSL. The team have been so amazing. I got to my room, there's a little bottle of champagne, which I am drinking. I'll wake up tomorrow, feel much better, I think. I'm just a bit gutted just now. But I'll show you guys the room tomorrow morning. We are just about to head down, well, I'm just about to head down for dinner. We're all going for dinner. Everyone's getting all dressed up. I am wearing my plain outfit. I think the thing that's upsetting me the most is what basically the guy that was meant to process my missing suitcase just kept on laughing at me and it was the most frustrating thing because I wasn't upset. I was just like, cool, suitcase is lost. Don't worry about it. These things happen. In my mind, I probably could have got quite upset because it's different if you're on holiday because you can just go get some stuff but I'm here for literally two days I was so excited about getting photos I'm here for a brand trip so it's going to be really I feel I feel bad because I'm not really going to be able to get as much content and stuff like hopefully I'll get it back tomorrow morning this is there's terrible things happening in the world this is definitely not one of them it's totally fine um, it's just a bit of a funny feeling 
not, and they don't know where my stuff is. They don't know if it's in Gatwick or Marrakesh or a different airport, maybe it's on the wrong plane. So if they accidentally sent it to a different country, I won't get my stuff at all. I'm gonna to go to Zara tomorrow and get something to wear. It's gonna to be totally, totally fine. Amy's room, Amy's makeup box. She's right there. Um, Amy's just taking some snaps just now. This morning, you saw we went to the YSL Gardens, which is beautiful. Um, it was super busy, so quite a lot of the girls were struggling to get photos, but people were getting nice snaps by the end of it, weren't they? Case update, there's not really an update. Uh, they don't know where it is. We got told that British Airways can't really help because they don't know where it is, so if it's not in a UK airport, they can't do much about it. It's been it's been really weird. So some of the guys from ISL are actually going to pick me up some underwear and hopefully some form of swimming costume because we're meant to be doing a pool party thing today. I'm so glad because we're only here for literally like two nights. It's a really really quick trip. I thought I was maybe going to get my case this morning. It's not happened. Um, they still don't know where my case is, which means it's probably not going to be in the flight because the flight, the British Airways flight that we got here yesterday is in two hours time. So unless they find it and put it on that flight, I won't be getting it tonight either, which means if I get it tomorrow morning, then great. I'll, I'll put some clothes on and try and get some pictures and do my makeup and stuff. But I think that there's a good chance that I'm not going to get it at all on this trip. So it's pretty gutting because... I just can't do anything, I can't get any pictures, I can't do my hair, I can't, it's like, it sounds, it sounds so pathetic, but see when it's your job and it's like your stuff, it's like, it's like really, I don't know, I don't say violating, but it's like, like, I don't know where my stuff is, it's just really weird, really weird feeling. Positives, CC lent me a jumpsuit, which is really comfy, which I'm probably going to wear for the next couple of days. <laughs> guys are the best. They went to Zara and H&M and they came back and now I've got something so I can go in the pool. Because it's breaking my heart. I was sitting here with like so many clothes on. Thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. We're just getting some photos. <laughs> Hello. We're in the car. We're going to the desert. We're going to ride some camels. This sleds is sticky. I've dropped stuff in this. Update on the bag situation. Don't know who it is. They're, we're hoping that it's going to be on the flight. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is Ewan. Ewan works for YSL. Ewan is from Glasgow. So yeah, hopefully I might get home tonight and my bag might be there, which would be so great. I I think this was a test. I'm actually not gonna lie. I think this is a test for me to appreciate my belongings because I do appreciate them and I need them and I will never take you for granted ever again. We're going into the desert, we're going to ride some camels, we're going to have some dinner in the desert. I got a Moroccan dress on. It's from the hotel, there's like a shop in the hotel. Excuse me, what's a really Moroccan woman's name? <laughs> what's a really common uh, ladies... Fatima? Fatima? Oh, I like it. I like Just call me Fatima Genevieve. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the girls are all on the way to a uh, hot air balloon and we're gonna watch the sunrise and hold hands and yeah, sing yeah. Kumbaya.
home. Ah! Welcome back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, we just went to Marks and Spencer's cafe for lunch. We just bumped into Lucy and her boyfriend. And she said that every Sunday they sit down and watch our vlog. Yeah, see you guys. So if you were telling the truth, <laughs> here's your shout out. Tomorrow's Saturday and Sunday and I'm having an actual weekend off. I am so flipping excited. Ah, my case. Bit late. No, I'm joking. I got it, get it. I'm absolutely gutted. I just want my suitcase after it being missing for my whole trip, pick it up on the way home, get it home. I just, yesterday I literally just napped all day. I had a five hour nap, got up, had something to eat, and then went back to bed, slept for the night. Just opened my case and my, all my makeup's missing. All my makeup's been stolen and so have my makeup brushes and a Gucci belt. I don't know what to do. I tweeted um, just saying that I'd lost my makeup and then I tweeted British Airways because it was them that lost my case, it was them that didn't do much about it. Everyone's asking about travel insurance and I think my credit card gives me travel insurance but I've not got travel insurance because I didn't book any of the flights, you know. So I'm just reading it. Did I have a padlock on the case? Yes it did. But the TSA can open it up anyway. Hmm? Was it lost with the airline or did someone else have it? It was lost with the airline. Do you know what sucks the most is that someone that had the airline that's done it because the, the suitcase didn't leave the airport. There's a chair. Your body. Your body's lovely. This is not the time, Jack. <laughs> oh, I'm devastated. Oh man, I don't even know what to do. I'm so lucky. Do you know what I just said to Jack? I'm so lucky because I've obviously got so much makeup and stuff, but that was all like my favourite stuff and see if it had been anyone else who didn't do what I did for a job, I would be crying. It literally was all my favourite stuff. We're at Kingsgate. I'm going to get a monitor for my camera. Oh, nearly an insurance claim. Jack keeps on driving the wrong way. We drove the right way, We you? drove the wrong way. We're here, aren't we? We're in Curry's. I'm getting a monitor. I'm going to get this one. I'm going to get this monitor so I can see myself. Yes, I'm so aware how thin it is. It's so thin. Look at the top. Wow. <laughs> That's thin. So this is the TV. Look at that. Oh my god, it disappears. <gasps> That's amazing. Yeah, so I'm going to get this so I can watch my makeup tutorials. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm getting this little tinker bell right here. So I'm just getting a TV monitor and a HDMI cable. Good evening. Oh wow, I look like a fucking crazy person. Me and Jack had a chilled out day today. We went to Catch, which was up at Giffnick. We went to Argos. I got a monitor for my filming, which I will show you in next week's vlog because I am finished. We're just sitting down, I've got a little easy peasy spaghetti bolognese heat up dinner tonight because I'm tired still. I think I've been doing too much lately and it's all caught up with me and I've just been sleeping like a lot. And Jack, <laughs> Jack got, what was it called? Bombay, a Bombay bad boy pot noodle and Jack's not very good at spicy food oh, and I'm just watching him die. Do you want to see? Oh. Come on, eat more of it, it's funny. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sweating buckets, I've only had two forkfuls. Come on. Oh, ah, ah. Eat it all. Ah. You're doing good. Oh. This will teach you. That'll teach you. Ah. <laughs> That'll teach you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I can feel um, my eyeballs are sweating. You should try the noodle challenge that Karen oh, and Sebastian man. did. No, that looks fucking... If you think a Bombay flipping bad boy is <laughs> spicy. This is enough for me, I think. I think that Sebastian was doing it. That looked too intense. And we're watching the confession tapes. Have you got anything to say to the vlog? Good night, Vienna. And that's it for this week, guys. Thanks for coming with me. Thanks for joining us. And I'll see you next week. Love you! <laughs>